Okay guys, here we are for round nine. Be on the play. And uh not terribly excited with this hand. Um we do have some a couple early plays here, but we do need to draw into some white sources to make this hand happen. Still though, I think with the arms dealer and the goblin arpanist, uh goblin arp uh arsonist, excuse me, that uh, this hand is gonna be fine. Not ideal, but I'll definitely keep it. That uh, plans was very much needed right there. Nice thing is that next turn we get to use the arms to take out the Corsair and the Arbor Elf. Alright, so we're gonna definitely gonna attack in and then take out his guys. Very happy to be able to use the arm dealer like this. Gets us some nice tempo. We can hopefully pick up a couple land. We should be doing pretty well. So check out his deck. He's got O-Ring, Divine Verdict, and Plummet that we've seen in Searing Spear. Looks like he's taking his sweet time looking at our deck also. and a Rancor. Okay, that was a nice draw for us. Um, he does have Searing Spear, Rancor. We could just drop Guardians here, wait till he taps out on the mountain before playing Volcanic Strength. Um, we could also just Arms Dealer the Guardians and start bashing in. If he has Searing Spear, he really gets us here. If not, we have a pretty good chance to 
run away with this game. Um, hmm. He also has Divine Verdict, though. So I think instead I'm just going to go ahead and... I'm just going to draft Guardians. I suppose he could have had Yeva, it would have been better to do that post combat. But. Um, so at this point, I think it's worth, now he still could have the Verdict or the Searing Spear. Hmm. Like, I've seen two pack leaders in his deck. I think I'd rather just save the Arms Dealer, go for the Volcanic Strength play, and see if that works out. So he needs verdict here, otherwise we're in a really good pretty good shape. Um, he may be holding back on pack leaders because we've got arms dealer out. And there's no reason to kill his guardians. And this could just end the game by itself. Okay, so we got turn to slag, still just sitting here, hoping to go the distance in silver coat line. Not sure what he's holding here. He needs verdict. I'm trying to think what else I saw. I don't think I saw anything else in his deck that deals with this right now. Maybe over. That's actually kind of a beauty. Um, And 
that just could be it. I have no idea what he's holding. Alright, that's the game. So up against red, white, green. Got a number of, he has a number of uh, the uh, Battlefight Eagles also. We could run like Primal Clay. Um, hmm. Didn't see any Torch Fiends. He does have a couple Flyers. Primal Clay may be better. some of our stuff here, like with the walls, like Benediction is still good. Hatchling can trade with like his 2-3 guy. The lions seem pretty bad. Um, hmm. I guess we can trade Eagles, maybe Fire Elemental is probably good here. Reckless Brute may be good enough. Didn't see anything too big. He does have, I believe, one of the 4-4 four -four spiders. Probably one Fire Elemental and maybe I think I'm going to do a Primal Clay instead. And with more red, I'm going to cut a Plains for a Mountain. And this hand is just fine. We definitely have some early stuff. If we can get into Cranko, we should be doing pretty well. I'm going to drop Arsonist here just because we're going to be using our mana every turn for a little while. Really need some mana here. We maybe should have gone up to 17 land there, potentially. Yuck. Alright, there's the land. Crusader. Now we can get him flunkies and hatchling and then bounce. So we just sit, I think. Well, attack with Griven next turn. If we attack with all three, push a little bit of damage.
yuck. Okay, we really needed that land. So now we verdict his flyer. Okay, so we bash in with these three. Ugh, probably should have killed the guardians there actually. That was a mistake. It's a misclick for sure. <sighs> that makes mod flunkies much, much worse. Now he swings for eight. I guess we drop Goblin and Guardians. So now we only have Searing Spear in his deck. He could just kill us. I think we have to block here. So now we drop Sarah. Bash in for five.
Okay, Battlefight Eagle is pretty busted right here. So we battle fight the Crusader. Well, we battle fight the Mod Flunkies actually. Then he drops to five, and we essentially wipe his board. That should do it, unless he's got planar cleansing. Yep. All right. So. Uh, I guess that was the uh, full nine rounds. We ended up going six and three, and so we will find out uh, how we did. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll know here in a little bit.